Let's turn our attention to high blood pressure. High blood pressure is a serious condition that can lead to coronary artery disease, heart failure, stroke, kidney failure and other health problems. High blood pressure, also called hypertension, remains an underdiagnosed condition and hence an untreated condition. Currently, hypertension affects about 115 million people in India. Furthermore, as we become more sedentary, heavier and eat more and more processed and salt rich foods, we set ourselves up for developing high blood pressure even more. The stresses of our hectic lifestyles in the modern world adds to the problem still more. And we can't wipe out something which you are not measuring or monitoring. High blood pressure itself usually has no symptoms. Rarely headaches may occur. You can have high blood pressure for years without knowing it. During this time, the high blood pressure can damage your heart, the blood vessels, the kidneys and other parts of the body. So unless you get your blood pressure checked, you will not know that your blood pressure is high. Now is the time for you to know your blood pressure levels and what your goal should be and to learn how you can reach these goals. Two numbers make up your blood pressure, the systolic blood pressure, the top number and the diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number. So in a typical blood pressure reading of 130 by 80 millimeters mercury, 130 is a systolic value and 80 is the diastolic reading. Hypertension is defined as a reading above 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury measured at rest on at least two separate occasions. If you have diabetes or chronic kidney disease, a blood pressure of 130 by 80 millimeters of mercury or higher is considered as high blood pressure. A blood pressure over 120 by 80 but below 140 by 90 is known as a prehypertension and a blood pressure at or below 120 by 80 is considered completely normal. Even blood pressure values between 120 and 80 and 139 and 89, the so called prehypertension, are considered worrisome enough that people with these readings should try to change aspects of lifestyles that contribute to elevated blood pressures. Indeed, recent data suggests that patients with prehypertension have a threefold increase in their risk of having a heart attack. What can you do to lower your blood pressure readings? Losing weight, eating a healthy diet, reducing the amount of sodium in your diet to well below 2.4 grams per day, the equivalent of one teaspoonful of table salt per day and stopping smoking. Regular physical activity is important as well. Many effective medications are available to lower the blood pressure. At times, it requires several attempts of different dosages and combinations of medicines to attain the desired result. The important part is to establish a goal and within a reasonable time to attain that goal. Today's blood pressure medicines can safely help most people control their blood pressures. These medicines are easy to take. The side effects, if any, tend to be very minor. Blood pressure medicines work in different ways to lower the blood pressure. Some remove extra fluid and salt from the body to lower the blood pressure. Others slow down the heartbeat or relax or widen your blood vessels. Often two or more medications work better than one.